welcome to Cinema Sessions. I'm Mary Cinema. With us tonight is Victor Carver, president of Movie Tint Inc. Hey, He's with us tonight to discuss colorization, the controversial practice of coloring black and white film. Mr. Farber, I guess the first question is why? <laughs> why take great old black and white movies in that color? We took a poll. Do you know that kids today will not watch a movie in black and white? They want color. They'll watch anything just so long as it's in color. Wait a minute. Do you mean to tell me they've given a choice between watching, oh, say, Citizen Kane or some 1970 cheesy TV movie of the week starring Barbara Feldman and Doug McClure? That they're the little farmers will take the McClure flick every time. <laughs> so we figure we'll take the old black and white movies, color them, cast them off on the kids, and before they know they're watching an old movie, it's over. What possessed <laughs> I mean, where'd you get the idea of coloring old black and white movies? I was helping my little girl crown in a coloring book and wham! It hit me. Uh-huh. And what's the hardest thing about the colorization process? Staying inside the line. <laughs> <laughs> There's been much criticism by actors, directors, film critics, historians, and fans who all maintain that you're taking great old black and white movies and destroying them. I ain't destroying nothing. They're all just jealous because they didn't think of it first. <laughs> I recall seeing a clip of Astaire and Rogers dancing, which your film company colored. He was wearing a powder blue tuxedo, and she was wearing a salmon-colored gown. I was just curious as to how you knew those were the colors they wore in the movie. How the hell would I know that? <laughs> what, do you think I'm psychic or something? I wasn't even born then. Uh -huh. <laughs> and how many films have you terrorized? Colorized. Oh, a bunch. We just got our hands on, uh, Creature from the Orange Lagoon. That's the Black Lagoon. Not anymore, it isn't. <laughs> hey, do you remember the Papa Blanca? Yes. Well, now it's Papa Rojo. Ah, just a little colorization joke there, man. What's that? Well, we have the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> the Wizard of Oz is the color. No, not all of it. They missed some. <laughs> And another thing, look like I got a damn horse in there that keeps changing color. It must have been defective. No, it's the horse of a different color. We can fix it. And another thing, about those bricks. Yellow bricks. Who ever heard of such a thing? We can fix that too. But they do a whole production number where they sing about the yellow brick road. We can fix it. Thanks to computer technology, we can dub in the word red every time they sing yellow. Did you know that they actually wanted Shirley Temple for that part, except she wasn't available? Wait a minute. Thanks to computer technology, we can put Shirley Temple in. Shirleyization? Hey, I like that. Let the guys back and laugh here about this. That's all the time we have. Tune in next week when Steven Spielberg explains why he was not nominated this year for an Oscar. Hey, man. Mayor, is that your real hair color? Yes. We can fix it.